welcome to my channel i know it has been a while since i've actually made my last video i've been so busy i've been so busy and i'm sorry that it has to take me this long for me to post my next video let me take this opportunity to thank everybody that were still subscribers that are still subscribers even with my long absence and my long silence and please people that are subscribed <laughs> please people should please subscribe back okay i am back um i'm not i'm not going to be posting like weekly like i used to post before or two or three times weekly like i used to post before but i'll try as much as possible to post as often as possible during this two months period of lectures like it has been back to back for everybody and i'm not excluded from the whole system now the thing is that we'll be having lectures we'll be having registrations we have to read we'll be having a lot of presentation and seminars and everything and it has been hectic for everybody you have to report your practical you have to do your practicals and stuff like that so that's it has been very very um, hectic for, for for a lot of us and i want to apologize for not being um versatile enough to be posting videos simultaneously as lectures and every other thing is um was actually unfolding is or was i mean anyway sure but the thing is that I said I said in one of my videos that um, the investing system is divided into three phases. <coughs> the first phase is the resumption phase, um, where I talked about resumption and everything. And the second one is lecture phase, where you have to attend your lectures and send your attendance. And that has been the phase where I was absent for a long time. And then the final step, which is the examination step. I'm making this video on Easter Friday. Okay, so. Today I have chance, okay. I, I'm going to read, but at least very early in the morning. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's seven o'clock yet. It's very early in the morning. You can see the background, you can even hear the fowl, the, the, the cock crawling. So it's very, very early. So I just I just make this video so that if I forget, if I leave this house this morning, I don't think I'll be able to make this video again. So thank you for everybody that have sticked with me for these two long months of my silence. I really apologize and thank you for standing by me okay so back to the business of the day now in this examination period i'm not going to tell you how to get first class because i i i don't have i don't have first class but somebody made a suggestion i should interview one of those guys that have first class i'm actually making um connect, i'm trying to make calls i'm trying to make calls to see if i can reach out to one of those pharmacy guys actually one of the pharmacy guys actually had first class so i'm trying to see if i can meet him in person or make phone calls or recordings so that i can use in my subsequent videos for that particular question now there's another question about direct entry i'm making inquiries to on the direct entry actually my plan is for me to interview one of those direct entry students okay so if you have questions about direct entry drop the question in my in the comment section below so that i can compile all the questions that you have and then present to him when we are doing the interview and my plan is for me to actually bring him in here or probably in school where we'll have to do the interview and i ask him the question that you're going to ask me i have like about two or three questions that you people have asked me in my previous videos so i'm going to use that as uh, as a beginning or as one of the questions i'm going to ask him it's actually the guy representing the pharmacy transfer student or direct entry student in year two so i'm going to meet him in person i've gotten his contact i'm going to communicate with him so we are going to fix it then there's going to be it's going to be um okay for the both of us for the interview and any, any questions if if he is good with camera we may actually sh make him come live on this youtube channel but if he's not good with camera i'm just going to get what he's going to say and then relate it back to you okay so now we are in the examination stage okay and something came to my when i was attending lectures last week something came to my mind not really came to my mind we we're having this presentation and then i discovered something what did i discover you know one of the worst thing you can do for yourself being a university student is not really not attending lectures no it's not really not taking your notes it's not really not reading you get the worst thing that you can do to yourself as a student is to get a carryover that's i think for me that is the worst i know see the thing is that carryover may not necessarily be your fault i spoke to a lot of people concerning carryover 
and some of them were told me that carryover is not something that you kind of some like so some, sometimes you you can probably read and understand and go to the exams well and do very well and then at the end of the day you still discover that you have carryover you get but the most important thing to do is not being afraid you get of not of what you don't have control over because most of the time carryover is something that we have control over as i'm talking to you as a matter of fact i'm even talking to myself because i'm trying my best i'm trying everything i can not to have carryover i think now pharmacy we can have carryover i've not really done a whole um, I don't really have a whole understanding of how pharmacy carryover is being done, but I think at some point we can carry over, but it depends on the specifics. You cannot carry over certain courses, okay? Even in year one, you're not supposed to carry over certain courses for you to be able to go to year two. But no matter the department that you are, carry over is one of the worst things that can ever happen to you. Why do I keep emphasizing on the worst thing that can ever happen to you? Let me paint a scenario. And there are three points. If it's up to four, as I go on, I'm going to mention the fourth one. The first point that you should not have carryover is number one, you are in year two. You're supposed to focus on your year two, like you are in the older year or senior years. When I mean older year or senior years, I mean year that is older than the year that you just left. Carryover in year one or carryover in year two, and you are in year three. You are in an older year compared to the carryover course that you were, that you're actually carrying over. So, Number one is that you will be leaving your, your older year class, your present year class, and go to the previous year class. You get, and some of the time, the time they will make clash. You get, even if you, even if it's GS, you get, and GS may be having lectures from eight to ten, and that is the same time you are having your own, can one five one. So. If you if you shuffling between, there's a chance that you may not necessarily do very well in your career yeah, course. So coming from your year to your previous year, it's it's stressful. Okay, it's very very stressful. And when she, when we're talking, she said that it's very it's very very stressful for her. Okay, you get because she have to be taking at taking permissions from lecturers and taking permission from that lecturer and being where she have to be when and stuff like that. So it's very very stressful. And the second one is that the previous year class, like the class you just left, like the younger year class, for instance, you're in year two and you come to year one to attend lectures. Year one students are very, very nuisance. They are like nuisance, like including myself. <laughs> I don't want to say including myself, but if I'm, if I'm saying year one student, I, I think I should at some point include myself. Because when you come, there are so many year one students make unnecessarily jokes, unnecessary, unnecessary jokes or they make unnecessary comments or comments that they don't really understand when they are in those people's shoes you get you get somebody that's in that's your older colleague making some mistakes and you feel that that mistake is a mistake that that is that is punishable by death that is what you want to then do and they make certain gist or certain jokes that that don't really make sense so you don't need to let yourself go through that stress you get so that is why you have to try as much as you can not to come back to the new Zant set of people that they call you want then because you want they, now most of them are just coming from secondary school and they don't really know what it's like to be a university student okay so plus or minus you just have to avoid it okay number three is the expenses now there are some courses that you have to rebuy the textbook because in UNM there are some textbooks that are actually compulsory. You have to buy those textbooks for you to do the registration. I think by 151 textbook is compulsory and physics um, physics 101 textbook is compulsory if the textbook is is still available. You get when the textbook is available, it is compulsory. When the textbook has finished, then they now make it not compulsory. So, but if the textbook is available all through the semester, then you're going to have, you have to buy the textbook. And imagine you buy a textbook that you've already bought. It's kind of expensive, if you understand what I mean. So, it's expensive when you carry over any cost. Coming back to spend money for money that you've already spent before, you get. And other stuff, and other related stuff. So, please, whatever you do, okay? Like I said, as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. As you are preparing for your exams, for people that are preparing for JAM, as people that are preparing for Pursuit ME, you get, for people that are preparing for the university exams itself, 
you have to be ready you have to prepare very very well because there are certain things that you're not supposed to experience the second time yeah and sometimes writing jam you don't need to experience it the second time this could be the simplest jam in the history of jam you get so you have to do everything you can to pass it and judging from and even university exams too this could be one of the simplest exams you can ever write so you have to try your best to make sure that you pass it this time okay and um good luck to everybody that have started exams good luck that good luck to everybody that is actually writing exams i've actually started writing my own exams i've written one exam so far and i'm very optimistic about it so, um i i hope i hope it goes well because there's something i discovered about university examination even general examination as a whole UNN is even crazier you know you, there's certain questions that you answer you, you solve it and you get the actual answer for instance you get you solve and you get like two meters per second let's say two meters per second let's say in physics and you see minus two meters per second you see minus one over two meters per second you see one over two meters per second and at that point you'll be traumatized like at, at the end of the day they'll probably put an option d option e like five meters per second and sometimes your instinct will want to tell you to go and calculate it over again probably you've missed a minus somewhere or something like that or you've missed a one over somewhere or something like that so it at some point you just have to trust your gut and then pick what you solve but trust me what you solve may not necessarily be the answer because having the actual answer and having your answer are two different things especially when university of nigeria and suka is concerned okay so please be careful good luck to you and good luck to myself i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> pray for me okay pray for me even if you're writing your exams pray for me oh. I'll see you guys in my next video. That should be video on direct entry or video on first class, interviewing a first class student, okay? I'm going to try my best on that, but I don't see it being possible. I'll just probably have to make a phone call to him and then he'll tell me everything and then I'll make the video on that, okay? Thank you to everybody that have actually stayed with me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, thank you very, very much. God bless you. If you have not subscribed, please do care to click on the subscription button because it goes a long way to give me motivation to make new videos. I know some people have been subscribing without even me making new videos. Thank you very, very much. I will see you in my next video. God bless you.